Hey, so today I'm going to show you how to connect your Buzzy account to Stripe to accept payments. Stripe handles uh, and powers some of the world's largest internet platforms and it's really easy. You do not need to be a business uh, to accept payments inside Buzzy. Uh, being an individual is quite okay too if you need to accept payments from someone or, or, or team members. Uh, so what I've done is I've created a uh, test account over here and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that. So the first thing I need to do is go into my profile and when I select my profile there's an option there called profile and settings. I'll select that and, uh, and at the bottom over here you'll see there's a payments uh, stripe uh, option down here. I'll click that once and when, I'm, when I click that, there's, uh, I'm presented with a very large green button that says connect to Stripe. So uh, I'm going to select that button and what that will do is open up a page on Stripe. And um, straight away, I can see at the top right hand side here, there's an option to sign in. Now this is an option if you already have a Stripe account. This will make this, this setup process even easier. Uh, you'll literally just sign into your Stripe account using your own uh, username, uh, email address and password and uh, that will then connect your Buzzy account to Stripe straight away. If you do not have a Stripe account, we need to fill in a few details to get cracking. Uh, once you fill in this form, your Buzzy account will automatically connect to Stripe and you can start accepting payments um, immediately. So the first question is uh, what country I'm in, I'm going to select Australia and uh, tell us a bit about your business. Now, I don't have a business, I'm just an individual that wishes to accept payments inside Buzzy. So I'm just gonna say here, accept payments, and uh, that's all I need to know. And next thing is account details, your business type. Um, I'm not a business, obviously if I was, I could select company or sole uh, proprietorship or individual. Um, so I'm gonna go individual, I'm not a not-for-profit or in a partnership, so I'm going to keep it as an individual. The most important thing here to remember is that you do not need to have a business to connect or create an account on Stripe. Um, and then over here, I can put in a business address. I'm just going to put in my home address over here. That's it. And my postcode in Australia, and that will automatically um, populate the suburb I'm in. Uh, for the website, I don't have a website. Um, obviously, if you had a company website, you could put this in there if you were a business. So I'm just going to put in uh, Buzzy's website here, which is www.buzzy.buzz, and that'll work perfectly. It tells me that's a valid URL, no problem. And then the next thing on my personal details. So my legal name, whoop, should learn how to spell my own name, and uh, my date of birth. Don't tell anyone. And uh, my street address inside here, which I'm going to use the same as the business address. Go. And that's it. Um, this detail over here, this is a description and phone number. So this is what will appear on the credit card statements of, of any customers or anybody who is paying you any funds. Um, so you could put a you could put a business name inside here if you wanted. Um, it also says yeah, don't worry, you can change this information later. So um, I'm going to leave that blank for now. Um, being an individual, and then the next most important thing, obviously, is here Stripe are asking for your bank account details. Um, so what will happen is when you receive payments inside Buzzy, um, your Stripe account will obviously accept those payments and the payments will then be transferred into your bank account. So it's really important that this is entered in correctly. Um, so at the, the BSB level here, you'll put in your branch number. If you're in Australia, you'll put your BSB number in here and your account number details will go inside there. And, um, and then that's pretty much it. So the last step here, it's asking me to, to save my Stripe account. So in this instance, I would put in my email address and choose a really strong password. And then finally, there's a big blue button, bottom left, that says authorize access to this account. Once you've put in your email address and your password, you will select this button. And uh, the next step is it will take you back to Buzzy, and uh, this is what that will look like. 
Um, it will say, cool, you have connected, you have Stripe connected to Buzzy. Uh, you can log into Stripe to see transactions. You can also disconnect the Stripe account from Buzzy. Down here, we're presented with a whole lot of options of payment preferences. Um, and this, this allows us to, to choose uh, which currency we wish to accept payments in. Um, and the other thing I can do here is I can add a margin to payments I receive. So, um, so obviously by selecting this option, uh, all transaction fees will be charged to the person making the payment. Uh, so if I wish to uh, negate or add a margin for any transaction fees, I can add that in here. Um, or I can, and then over here I'm given the option to apply this fee to payment buttons or to payments that are made in comments inside Buzzy. So uh, we have another help section that explains this in a little bit more detail. And, uh, but essentially, really what you're doing here is simply adding a margin to payments that you receive if you wish to, or alternatively, you can choose to absorb uh, those transaction fees. And that's it. We have now have connected our Buzzy account to, um, to Stripe, and we can start accepting payments inside, inside Buzzy by either inserting a payment button or by accepting payments simply uh, in comments.